Once you scan your photos, you have two other problems to solve. What to do with the photos and how to keep your digital files safe and secure. In this video, I'm going to continue my interview with David Delgado, a longtime student of mine, and we're going to tackle those very topics. By the way, if you haven't seen the first video in this interview series with David Delgado, you'll find the link to it below this video. Let's continue the interview with a question that's hard for family historians. The hardest thing to do, once I got all these scanned, what am I going to do with these pictures? Mm, yes, I was going to ask you. <laughs> okay. Okay, because people have different ideas on what yeah. to do with them. Yeah. What did you do? Well, I'm not sure you want to hear. <laughs> no, actually what I did, uh, I, the pictures that my grandparents took on both sides, I gave to my brother. Mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. you know, here, you keep them, do whatever you want with them. I've got them all scanned. Everything else, uh, which is probably the vast... The did vast, you keep any of those? Like one or two special ones? No. no. You gave him everything. Oh yeah, I gave him everything mm -hmm. of the grandparents. But then what to do with all these other pictures that I took and um, I held on to them for <laughs> weeks but I knew I had to get rid of them so yeah yeah because you're moving and you're downsizing I right? that was a whole I got rid of them incentive I dumped them in the garbage and that was right? I, I, I even stared at them <laughs> like my gosh but it, they were scanned and mm -hmm. I had them duplicated on thumb drives to give my kids so we're cool. I mean, that, but that was a, that's, that's, that's a hard thing to do, but yeah. mm -hmm. it's like having a garage sale. Once you get rid of it, no, you don't think about it. It's gone. Mm -hmm. As you can see, what to do with photos after scanning is a tough issue, and there's more than one way to deal with it. I've already created a video on this very topic where I talk about multiple options, so if you're interested in that, you'll find the link to it below this video. Now let's talk about the next big question. How do you safeguard your photos after they're scanned? David Delgado used to be an IT manager and it was part of his job to make sure information was backed up daily. So he's a good one to talk to. Here's what he says. I come from an IT background and that backup is probably the most valuable thing you can do for all your uh -huh. stuff. So it, it's ingrained in me to do that. When I was Talk to me about your backup system. What what are you using? Well, I've got two. Uh, I've got two external drives. Um, what are they? Two terabytes uh, each. And uh, so I back. I do a daily, almost a daily backup of my computer. If I do a lot of changes, I'll do a backup. Mm -hmm. um, but it runs automatically. And then I have it. The other one is for. Uh, I keep a third version of all my photos there, plus some other stuff that I've on my on my desktop. I've got two sets of thumb drives for all my pictures and my videos, one for, you know, my kids. Mm -hmm. So I've got multiple backups of that. Good. So. Okay, well, good for you. Yeah, you know, uh, redundancy is, is the word, right? Gotta You've got to have them in more than one place. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm actually backing up also my photo books that I've made. Mm -hmm. So I can, you can turn them into a PDF, yeah. all the pages, or you can just save the pages as JPEGs. Um, I, I'm probably going to do both so you have an album and, um, and also the JPEG. So if you ever wanted to create the book again, if the book was in a fire or something yeah. like that. So there, there are different ways that you can, can make sure that those things don't get lost. Definitely. Yes. So there you have it from a former IT manager. Back up your photos in two or preferably three locations. In my next video, we'll continue the interview with David Delgado and find out the unexpected aha moment David had after scanning thousands of photos for friends and how that idea changed the view he had of his own family photos. You'll find the link to that video right below this video. This is Linda Satgas with FamilyHistoryHero.com where we show you how to conquer your boxes of photos and become the family history hero for your family.